Hey YouTube, this is Eric from Thumple Bluff Fish. I'm here today with my good buddy Bill. Uh, Bill's been in a couple of our videos. But we fished together at Cape Cod, we fished together at Outer Banks, we fished together at Venice. And uh, Bill will tell you I'm horrible at tying knots. So actually what he's going to show us is how to do a loop, end loop on your main line so you can do a loop to loop connection. And then we'll also shoot another video to show how to create a wind on leader. So with that, I'll turn it over to Bill. Oops. So the basic premise of, of creating a loop and a fishing line with the holocore braid is you're gonna basically double the line over on itself with the loop is at the end. Okay. So when you start out, you wanna determine how long you want your tag end going back into the holocore braid, which on to make it's gonna make a hundred percent strong connection. Right. So I usually go about, you know, eight to 10 inches. Okay. So I'm going to make you know, kind of bend the line and make a mark here because I'm going to come in down to this. Okay. Then you're going to go up about the same connection. Gotcha. Moisten the line whenever you're doing holocore stuff. It makes it easier. You're just going to kind of fluff up. So you're just compressing the line together to make the hole appear? Yep. To loosen okay. to loosen the, the knot or the, the loosen the strands inside the hollow core. Okay. And you're gonna start start the line. And the key to starting the line, get it in, is you always want to pull the line over your needle, not push the needle in. Okay, gotcha. So I'm going to pull all this line in. Down. Are there different size needles for? Yes, different, different size lines? for needles, different size line. And then okay. that's where my mark is. So I push the need, pull the needle out. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this line and this is called a latch loop needle. Gotcha. It's got that little latch on the take end. The latch on the end. You're going to hook it in and make sure it's in there. And then okay. you're going to feed that line in up over itself. So you're basically pulling the line through the hollow core right. that you just created. Okay. So that one actually came out a little bit long, but no, we're fishing for a blue fin, so I'll take an extra couple inches. I'm gonna and, and people like their loops different sizes. So I used to go about like that. Okay. It's about two finger width, three finger width. And then you have your tag in that I originally started out with. Right. You're going to come up a little bit and run this back into the line. Most people run it in, in and out of the line just once. I usually do it twice. It just locks it in better. Okay. But it's going to create a hundred percent connection. Whereas if you're tying a knot, you're going to get... The knot always weakens the main line. Correct. Gotcha. No knot is 100%. Did you get the needle started? There we go. Rolling on me. There we go. Basically, just going to pull that through. And just for those of you who are wondering why we do this, there's not going to be a knot. So, when you're trying to cast your main line hook to your leader where you have that leader connection, the loop to loop just absolutely prevents a knot from occurring. So it'll slide through your eyes. It won't make any noise. It won't take your yardage off your cast. Gotcha. So it's nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. One easy, even thickness. Pull that through. And as you straighten that out, it'll pull all that line back into itself and it's done. Wow. All right. So there you have it. This is how to create a 
loop on your main line using hollow core. It only works with hollow core line. But now you've got a very solid 100% strength connection. Just uses a friction between the two lines to hold itself together. And it's very easy to do a loop-to-loop -loop knot.